I've lived here for approximately 55 years and, and surfed here for probably 50 years. Severe swell action is probably more noticeable in the last 10 years than it probably has been for the last 10 years before that. There's plenty of anecdotal evidence to suggest that extreme weather events are worse and more damaging than they used to be. Well now, for the first time, researchers have put some numbers to those changes. 1985. Satellites have been measuring wave heights in the world's oceans since 1985. A new study of those wave records tells a surprising story. The study looked at the variations of the wave climate and wind climate over the period of 23 years. And uh, the main outcome is that on average um, the waves uh, and winds um, have been growing. A severe weather event recently struck the coastline near Point Lonsdale in Victoria. The wave action apparently is not permanent. It only happens when the big storm comes. There are indications that now they are becoming more frequent. The huge waves cause damage and flooding right across southeastern Australia, including Port Arthur in Tasmania. And it all started in the Southern Ocean. So this chart shows that weather that we saw in July. Yeah, during that event we had uh, three days in a row of 100 km hour winds. That's the reddish area in that map. Because the winds were so strong, we had waves up to 10 metres, and that's represented by this purple area hitting Tasmania. It's extreme waves like these that are getting even bigger, according to the results of the Swinburne Wind and Wave Study. So this is visually the results of the study, is it? That's right. Here we have the wave trends for the extreme waves. Over this period of time, you can see the darker areas is uh, where the trends are larger and uh, the blue areas where the trends are smaller. Well, we seem to have a lot of dark colour there underneath Australia, so we're seeing a lot of change happening there, is that right? Yes, that's right, and uh, it's interesting to point out that that's the area where the waves are already very large and they also grow at the fastest rates here. How do you drill down to the detail of what's happening closer to, to individual waves? If we want to investigate the physics of the waves, how the waves interact with the wind and uh, the upper ocean, we have to go into much more detail. It looks like a noise, right? Mm. But uh, it really is variations which you see uh, tell us that uh, the waves come in groups. The group of high waves is followed okay. by a relatively smaller waves. So is that what surfers would call sets? Absolutely, <laughs> right? The study models show that extreme waves are increasing most in the oceans that impact southern Australia. So this is the South Pole view of these oceans. That's right, you can sort of see the uh, cold fronts moving around the Southern Ocean and that's part of the Roaring Forties coming all the way from Africa directly at uh, Australia. Most of the weather we experience on land actually forms over vast expanses of water. The weather around Australia is highly influenced by the ocean and changes in the ocean patterns can influence rainfall you might get uh, in any different weather system as it passes from the ocean over the land. On an even larger scale, the interaction of the wind with the world's oceans plays an important role in regulating the Earth's climate. The winds generate the waves, the waves mix the ocean, so if you mix the ocean deeper, it can uh, uh, absorb more heat from the atmosphere, it can cool it. In fact, the top two or three metres of the world's oceans can hold the same amount of heat as the entire dry atmosphere. The next step in this research is to find out why the waves and winds have been growing and the impact it's having on our climate. Getting an understanding of the uh, wave patterns around the Australian coastline is quite important to the marine community in terms of knowing what the wave effects might be on the coastal infrastructure. I've lived around the coast all my life and it's a beautiful environment to be in. Extremes of weather, temperature and, and wave action 
can only make it worse and, and I just hope that doesn't happen.